Off the shores of South America, in the eastern Pacific Ocean, lies Peru. A highly biodiverse country with fisheries that account for almost 10% of the world's production. More than 90% of Peru's coastline is bathed by the cold but highly productive waters of the Peru current and only 5% of the northern part of Peru is bathed by the tropical waters of the southern equatorial current. Right in the middle of these two large marine ecosystems, there is an area where the two ocean currents mix. This is a unique ecological transition zone. The Peru current, also known as the Humble current, is one of the world's most productive ones. It supports an overwhelming amount of sea life that is evident by the presence of millions of seabirds, which produce enormous guana mountains that accumulate on the islands and peninsulas. Underwater, abundance and beauty also fill the ocean. Peru's tropical north is the land of eternal summer. It has beautiful and peaceful beaches, and an unmatched biodiversity. It is considered one of eight areas with the highest marine mammal biodiversity in the world. It is also feeding grounds and migration route for a large portion of the Pacific megafauna, being also the southernmost nesting limit for sea turtles. Below the surface, the submarine world is extraordinary. Recent scientific research has found that in the area's coastline of just 150 kilometers, more than 70% of Peruvian marine biodiversity can be found. There are many more species to be discovered. The amount of life is extraordinary even in artificial structures such as piers and oil platforms. It is common to find new records and new species during underwater explorations. One of the groups of organisms that is being studied are marine sponge. There were only six known sponge species on coastal waters. Now there are more than 140 registered species. There were 78 species of echinoderms. Now the number has risen to 164. There are more than 70 registered sea slug species half of which are new to science. The same can be told about other unknown animals that are being discovered, most of which come from the tropical sea of Peru. This marine paradise supports ancestral artisanal fishing communities that take good care of the resources by using ancient and selective fishing methods. The tropical sea of Peru provides approximately 60% of the fish that are consumed in the country and support one of most famous gastronomies in the world. Despite of its great biodiversity and its importance to Peru, illegal trawling, 
precious science fishing and industrial development continue to destroy and threaten the area's existence. Only 0.5% of Peru's ocean is protected. Still, no marine protected area exists in the highly biodiverse tropical sea of Peru. Since 2004, there have been efforts aimed at protecting the most important portions of the tropical sea of Peru and the area of ecological transition, but these have been unsuccessful. In recent years, artisanal fishermen, scientists and members of the public have joined efforts in an intense campaign to convince national government authorities to create a marine reserve. But the national government priority has been to support oil extraction, despite the fact that Peruvian law indicates that both activities are not incompatible and could go together. Now, more than ever, international community support is needed. We plead for your voice to join ours in the quest to protect the biodiversity, sustainable fishing practices and cultural heritage of this unique region. Together, we can lay the path to secure the future well-being of the inhabitants and biodiversity of this extraordinary piece of our planet ocean.